everybody, it's -a us, Ordinary Adventures. Welcome back. Super Nintendo World has officially opened and we went to the grand opening party. It was full of celebrities, a stage show, and even fireworks. We tried three new food items at Toadstool Cafe. There's some new merch, and we're gonna discover some new secrets added to the land since technical rehearsals. And we'll be there for the actual grand opening and get some reactions from our friends. Why don't you come with us on this adventure? It's finally open, let's go! just got here and it was actually really cool because we are entering through the backstage backlot area which is unique and we are officially content creators. We got our little badges and they say content creator and I feel so cool. We were just walking in and they handed us a bag, a goodie bag. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, it's a power up band. And I got Princess Peach, my favorite. I always play her in Mario Kart. Miyamoto. Yes, yes. So crazy. I am overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to think or say or do, so I'm just I'm following your lead at this point. What is Disneyland president Ken Potrock doing here? Oh, there's red carpet on the ground. This is so cool! Oh, this, is, this wasn't here before. This wasn't here? Oh, Whoa! What is going on here? Oh, it's so dark! Okay, so that hallway was there because it's a big bleachers for all the press who are going to be filming tonight's event. <laughs> Weird seeing none of the animatronics moving in here. Because this land is usually so full of life, but the projection on all of the surroundings, I feel like eventually they're gonna have to do a projection show here because this is cool. We have a Chris Pratt sighting. He's right, right over there. We found him. That's Mario, that's the voice of Mario in the new movie. Welcome, we invite you tonight to come together in extraordinary ways. introduce to you the stars of Super Nintendo World. Princess Peach, Woo! Mario, and Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> Luigi time. Oh. Greetings, my friends. Hi, hi guys. Uh, uh, thanks for coming. Great to have you, but uh, where's Mario? And now 
gives me great, great pleasure to introduce to you one of the greatest creative minds of our time, the visionary behind everything you see here tonight, representative director and fellow of Nintendo, Mr. Shigeru Miyamoto. <laughs> Thank you for the close partnership that made this land possible and for the shared vision of creating something new, unique, and unprecedented. So, the world and to all the Nintendo fans around the world, thank you. I need your help in making a countdown to the opening of Super Nintendo World here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Are you ready? Three, two, one. you to discover and play in Super Nintendo World. Did you see when the flames came out of Bowser's castle? That was epic. Whoa! <laughs> what, what did you think of the show? Oh, that was amazing. That should be a nightly thing. Even though Universal Hollywood can't do fireworks, I know. Make it happen. I mean, do the projections. It'd be cool with the projections. They added new foliage here in Super Nintendo World. We're gonna have a mushroom, we're gonna have a star, and a fire plant all right here in front of Toadstools. The next day. We're back again! <laughs> so we're back today for Content Creators Day. Some of our friends from out of town are in town for the, seeing this for the first time, so we're gonna hopefully capture some of that. But also, they've changed some stuff since the technical rehearsal, so we wanna show you some of that, as well as eat some of the food. Chris, Amanda, <laughs> are you excited? I am freaking out. I'm way more emotional than I thought. She started to cry. This is like, so it's better than my wildest dreams. I mean, I grew up with Mario. I she grew up in plays Nintendo. Super Mario Bros. 3, still to this day, religiously. It's our favorite game. She plays it all the time. She knows all the secrets. They brought our dreams to life. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> I grew up playing this, man. This is so cool. Oh my god. It is so much bigger on the inside than you think. Videos don't do this place justice. If you would have told five-year-old me that I'd be walking into, you know, Mushroom Kingdom, I would have never, I would have said you were crazy. Oh my god, I'm blown away. Oh my gosh, we're in Super Nintendo World. Okay, I've missed you very much, but uh, this is amazing. Yeah. This is, How cool is this, Kevin? I'm like, look, look at this. I'm like, I'm so excited. I'm like a kid in a candy store. This is so good. It was like you walk in and you feel like you're like dropped in the middle of a video game. You ever like Spy Kids 3D, right? Yeah. He's in a video game, and I was like, oh, what'd it be like? This is what it feels like. You're here. There's so many sights and sounds. Have you gone in the restroom? I have. 
It's like the water level. Yeah, it's so good. I love that this is only $40 compared to like Magic Bands, which are $50. You got that. There's vending machines everywhere you go. You can buy them. It's so good. <laughs> Time to pop my first block. All right, so you said don't use this, yeah. right? Pro tip. Slap it. Like this. Slap it. Okay. That works. Oh my god. Your serotonin is just like. Kevin, the sheer joy you have right now. Dude, kids and adults. They're gonna like, this is the perfect like parent bonding. So first we're gonna go into the Toadstool Cafe because they have some menu items that weren't here during the technical rehearsals. There's two soups that I think might be from Japan. And then there's also a short rib that is not in Japan. So we want to try it all. I should say that Universal is paying for the food today. We did not pay for it, but the opinions are our own. Yes, for that's right for here? us. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, right over here. oh my gosh, this is so cute. I almost don't want to eat it. The first new item that we're going to try is called the Super Mushroom Soup. And this is a creamy mushroom soup with super mushroom crackers. This is actually something that they have in Japan. So I'm really excited that we got it here because honestly, when they announced this land, I just assumed we wouldn't get anything from Japan. And this is just so dang cute. It comes in this adorable toad little bowl and you just rip off his head and there's delicious mushroom soup in there and look at these cute little toad like soup crackers so cute so cute i'm so excited it has a very strong um mushroom smell when you open the dome not gonna lie it, like hits you in the face <laughs> with the mushroom smell Whoa. It's a very strong mushroom flavor, let me tell you that. It almost tastes like there's a little bit of like truffles in there or something. I feel like you're, you're either gonna like mushroom soup or you're not gonna like mushroom soup. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I'd probably give this like a three and a half out of five. It's not bad, it's just like a lot. Really, really strong. I feel like you're buying it for the cute, the cute photo, right? Even though now it's like destroyed. Also, how hilarious is it that, that this is $10 and look how big the soup is. It's like so small, but it's really, really strong. So like, I guess that makes up for it. <laughs> that is bold. It's a lot. That's a lot of mushroom. Would I order this again? I'm not sure. Me personally, I'm not sure. By the way, Chris is here from Japan and look at how cute his outfit is. He has Chef Toad on his head. He's decked out in Chef Toad. I love it. From head to toe. <laughs> and you've had the mushroom soup in Japan. Yes, I have. So I, I want to see how does this compare? All right. No pressure, right? Yeah, no pressure. No pressure whatsoever. He looks shocked. Why are you oh doing this to me, father? <laughs> It smells very mushroomy. Oh, <laughs> <A lot of> mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's much more mushroomy than the one we have. Ours is much more creamier, I think. Yeah, this is a little more runny. It's all right. <laughs> How many crisps out of five would you give it? <laughs> See, they can't say that, like, we got the, the food for free, so we loved everything. It's not bad, it's just really, really mushroomy. So if that's your thing, try it out. I just tried a little bit of mushroom soup and I don't know what everyone else is talking about, but I love it. Yeah, but you tried it with a fork. So does that really count? It's, it's the same thing. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's the same thing. <laughs> but no, I mean, I really love mushrooms. You can put mushrooms on, 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 on anything and I love it. And that's not bad to me. Yeah. That's a five out of five for me, actually. Yay. I would honestly get that again. Well, if you love mushrooms, I have a restaurant for you. It's called Toadstool Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms in everything, pretty much, except the desserts. But... That's really good. I got the Chef's Toad special, which I've heard is going to change season to season. Right now it's a short rib, and this is great short rib with creamy herb polenta, sauteed mushrooms, and a red wine demi. And if you look at it, it has like these like, almost like his, his hat or his like mushroom head thing. <laughs> yeah. It has those like little, I'm guessing that's the goat cheese. Yeah, I think that's the goat cheese. I love the, the Chef Toad Parmesan crisp on top. That's so cute. No! <laughs> <laughs> Some might say that I am a connoisseur of short rib. <laughs> wow, that, I'm surprised how tender that looks. It's it, like it, falling apart. Yeah, it really did fall apart. Oh, I could smell it. Very tender, very flavorful. This demi-glaze is perfect. 
I really don't taste the goat cheese. It's not like, usually goat cheese is a little bit strong. Are there hidden mushrooms under there? Oh yeah, there's hidden super mushrooms right here. This might be my favorite dish. Wow. I think it might be the, out the fire flour spaghetti and meatballs, which I like because it's kind of spicy. Five out of five theaters. I feel like this dish is like a, a little bit of a stub up from everything else on the menu. You can really taste that, that demi like sauce or whatever it is. It's very, very flavorful. Five out of five. I think I, my favorite still might be the Luigi burger. I think that might be like my favorite thing on the menu, but this is like a close second. When you first walk into Toastal Cafe, Chef Toad is talking to you, telling you all about all the menu items, and he says, make sure to get the special soup. So I don't know if he's talking about that mushroom soup or this other soup, which is the tomato soup. And this is a vegan tomato basil soup topped with micro basil, sliced mushrooms, and truffle oil. And I just wanted to point out, this is the only like fully vegan thing on the menu so far. They might add more stuff later, but as of right now, this is completely vegan. And I, oh, I, I, there's something just so satisfying about taking, <laughs> taking his head off. Smells good. It's good. It's it's kind of like a, a thick broth. Like it's not this super watery type of tomato soup. I enjoy it. It's probably not going to be like something that I I want to get every time. Like I almost feel like they should serve little like toad shaped grilled cheeses or something that you could dip into this. Oh, that would be awesome. Or something like that would be cool. But this, nonetheless, this still probably gets like a four out of five. It's good. So in Japan, they have this really beautiful cake that Peach makes for Mario. Here they have a Princess Peach cupcake, which I think is pretty cool because it's all glittery. It's one of our favorite things here. So I'm really excited for you, Chris, to try it, to let me know what you think. Excited to try it. Yeah. It's basically just a Funfetti cupcake with like a bunch of frosting and glitter, but I think it's awesome. It's really heavy. It's very it's heavy. heavy. I think it's heavier than the Peach's cake. Yeah. It feels like- Is it? Feels, it's very so. dense. It's dense. I don't I remember it being this heavy. Was it always this heavy? <laughs> It feels is. like it's like 10 pounds. Get a workout and you eat dessert at the same time. This is gonna get all over my beard. You just gotta go for it. But it's really good. It's mainly just frosting. So if you like oh, frosting, no. you'll probably like oh. this. <laughs> I love frosting and this is cool. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> I'm getting like, just like a sugar rush from oh, this. Oh yeah, you'll be like bouncing mm -hmm. off the walls, getting all the coins mm -hmm. after you eat this. <laughs> this is really good, I really like this. I don't know what I like more, if I like Peach's Cake or the Cupcake, they're both very good. This is a different taste bud experience. It's very dense and sugary and delicious. I don't know. It's and like glittery. A, glittery. <laughs> Peach's Cake in Japan is very light and fluffy and elegant. Yeah. I don't know, I like them both. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so over in Tosu Cafe, they have a display of all the food. And there's one item that we have not seen before, and this is the Bowser's Fireball Challenge. It's a one pound meatball with melted mozzarella cheese. The challenge part is the red sauce in the black cup. The sauce is incredibly spicy, and the more you add, the more spicy it is. We've heard that this might not be here until March, so we're gonna have to come back and have a spice challenge. And just in case you're wondering, if you want to get this toad bowl, they're going to start selling in March. They don't know the price, but you can't steal them. So yeah. don't, don't make this a Galaxy's Edge spork situation. We ran into our friends, Magic Journeys. Hey, guys! <laughs> and you know, they are also foodies. I want to know, what, what, what are your favorite things at Toastal Cafe? Ooh, definitely the mushroom soup for me. And I think Yoshi's salad and Luigi's burger. I really enjoy this spaghetti. I just wish it wasn't so hot. It'd be cool to have like selections yeah. like I like the spice. And spicy. <laughs> yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. It just it burns my tongue too much. <laughs> you know? Oh that short rib you just had. Oh and the short rib was so amazing. Good. Yeah. I could actually go for more of those power, what are they called? The uh, lemon squash drinks? Squash drinks. I can have them all day. Okay. So good. Those are addicting. <laughs> <laughs> There's some new merch at the One Up Factory since the last time we were here. Let's go check it out. How awesome is this shirt? I love it so much. And we were talking to Chris from TDR Explorer and he said this is actually something from Japan. And I could tell because we normally don't get this like 
creative of designs on shirts here in America. But it's amazing. And it's like that on both sides. I absolutely love that shirt design, but it might be a little bit too bold for someone like me to wear. Luckily for me, they got a poster. I've been told this is opening day merch. It doesn't say Hollywood on it, but they also have it as a jigsaw puzzle. And I'm not sure if you can see that in the sky, it's a little sparkly. Yeah, I was right. The puzzle is made of holographic paper. There's a brand new popcorn bucket, of course. And this one is Mario on the Mario Kart vehicle. I just love the style of this one. And I think you keep the popcorn in the caboose, which is where I keep my popcorn, duh. And then what's cool about this is it actually lights up. So you just flip the switch and the little wheels light up. And it almost looks like you're drifting like in the game. And look at how cute this strap is. And this guy will cost you $42.99, but it comes with free refills of popcorn on your day of purchase all day long. And we're gonna give one of these away to one of you guys. Just to enter to win, you need to be a subscriber, you need to like this video, you need to comment below telling us what your favorite Nintendo game is. And in a week, we'll pick somebody to win this guy. <laughs> this is really cool. We need to find some Mario merch. Where is the Mario Peter, merch? Peter, where's I the Mario, Mario merch, man? I need Mario merch now. I need Mario merch. Have you merch. seen any Mario merch? Mario merch, Mario merch, Mario merch. <laughs> Yoshi, we got Yoshi. Where's Mario? I need Mario. Guy with the red hat. Plumber, Roto-Rooter guy. Mario, Mario, Mario merch, merch, merch. Look at this piece of Mario merch I found. It's so beautiful. It's my new best friend. Oh! 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 I think my favorite. Oh, no! fine. No medic needed. <laughs> I think my favorite new thing are all these different shirts representing the different courses and the different trophies that you win in Mario Kart. And they're all different colors. It's just so fun. I love it. I want one of each. That's the problem. And I like that it not only has the trophy, but it says down there Mario Kart Bowser Challenge. Oh, that's so cool. And then on the sleeve, if you look at this, it has the Universal Cup. So they've been adding a lot since the technical rehearsals. One thing I noticed right away is they actually hid some Pikmin around the land. So if you actually look up there, you can actually see some Pikmin trying to steal one of the golden coins. And to see some of the other Pikmin, you actually have to go up the secret staircase to where the binoculars are. Yeah, right there. I love the Pikmin. They're so cute. I wonder if those are the only two places you can find them. I know, obviously, you can find them through the binoculars. We showed that in one of our other tips videos. But I wonder if there's any other hidden Pikmin you know, let us know in the comments below. Uh, so I brought my Game Boy Color pocket printer, and I'm printing out my selfies right, right that I took with Princess Peach. So, Game Boy Color, original selfie uh, from the 90s. <laughs> so there it is, there's my selfie with Princess Peach. Wow. That is incredible. So All right, there it is. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at us, we're at Nintendo World. We, f we finally have proof. Many hours later. So it's the next day, it's February 17th. Super Nintendo World is opening this morning. It's finally opening day. And it's like 7.30 in the morning. But they're gonna do some kind of ceremony. So we're here to catch it. Catch it. <laughs> we're tired. Tired. <laughs> Welcome friends, are you ready? Today is a very special day here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am so happy to be here with all of you. It is my honor to introduce you to the three stars of Super Nintendo World, Princess Peach, Mario, and Luigi! open Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. So please join us as we power up and count down to a brand new world.
emotional when they're like we need the players yeah that was so cool that was so cool it's finally yeah. open everyone gets to finally experience this amazing land I love the pasta there. It's good. <laughs> I love the pasta. It's good. Okay. It, it's not theme park pasta. Yeah. It's good pasta. Yeah. And it's not theme park spicy. It's actually spicy. Yeah. So that was shocking. The tiramisu, I was like, am I at an Italian bakery? That and the Mount Moon Love it. Awesome. Very surprising. Yes. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? How are you today? I think the big question is, how long do you think the wait for Mario Kart is going to get on opening day? That's a good question. So the I, line's already going all the way to Peach's Castle. It already says it's 80 minutes and the land literally just opened. My guess, what's 80 minutes? An hour and a half? Yeah. Two hours? You can't do math. My <laughs> guess is four hours. Three hours? Two hours? I don't know. I think four hours. <laughs> we'll see four hours, I think. Yeah. <laughs> We were curious if the Toadstool Cafe was going to be selling breakfast because we've only ever really been here for lunch and they aren't, but they do have coffee and I just wanted to kind of show you how cute the little coffee cup is. Isn't that cute? It even says Super Nintendo World on it. Oh my god, it's scalding hot. Whew, need to put the sleeve back on. But I was pleasantly surprised. But they should sell breakfast. They should sell breakfast. Hopefully eventually they sell breakfast, but for now you could at least get a cute coffee in there. <laughs> Maybe they could do like an egg bite. Shaped like a mushroom with truffle sauce and mushrooms. I don't want that. So it's 10 a.m., two hours after they first open. The line has progressed to 150 minutes long. We're gonna try to go on single rider and see how long that takes us. I love your outfit. <laughs> so let's take a look at the situation here. It looks packed. I don't think it's gonna be this packed every day. So it took us only 13 minutes to get to the ride with single rider. So if you're here alone, or you've already done the queue, and you're fine riding alone, this is a good pro tip, because the line is two and a half hours right now. I would warn you, if you've never been on this ride, you want to do the queue, because there's a lot of stuff in there to see, and also they tell you how to play this game. So don't miss out on the normal queue if you've never ridden this attraction. See how I did. 13 of the day. Somehow Kitra did better than me. If you want to learn how to be good at the Mario Kart ride, we have a whole video, which is the tips and tricks of this land, that you're going to want to watch before you come here. Put the video right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes... Lindsay, Ben, Krista, and Arlene. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.